Hello everybody, welcome to Crash Stories. In this video, we are going to dive into the exciting world of encryption and decryption. If you have ever been curious about what these terms mean, including encrypted and decrypted ROM, then you are in the right place. By the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding of these concepts and you will also learn the differences between the encryption and encrypted ROM as well as decryption and decrypted ROM in simple terms with examples. So sit back, relax and let's explore the fascinating world of encryption and decryption together. In simple terms, encryption is a method of keeping information private by converting it into a secret code that only someone with the right key or password can read and understand. In the context of an Android phone, encryption refers to the process of converting the data on the device into an unreadable format which can only be accessed with the decryption key or password. On the other hand, encrypted ROM is a type of encryption used to protect the firmware or operating system of an Android device from being tampered with or modified. This encryption ensures that the code of the operating system cannot be modified without a proper decryption key or password. To illustrate the difference between these two concepts, let's say you have an Android phone with encrypted data. This means that if someone were to steal your phone and try to access your personal information, they would not be able to read the data without the proper decryption key or password. However, if the same thief were to try and modify the operating system of the phone, the encrypted ROM would prevent them from doing so unless they had the decryption key or password. For example, encryption is like putting a lock on a diary that you don't want anyone else to read. The diary is the data on your Android phone and the lock is the encryption process that turns the data into an unreadable format. Only you or someone who has a key or password to unlock the diary can read the information inside. Whereas encrypted ROM on the other hand is like a seal on a jar of cookies that you don't want anyone to open. Imagine you have a jar of cookies that you want to keep safe from your siblings who might try to sneak a cookie when you are not looking. So you put a seal on the jar that can only be opened with a specific tool like a can opener. Similarly when your Android phone has encrypted ROM it means that the firmware or operating system is sealed and can only be modified by someone who has the proper decryption key or password. This ensures that the code remains secure and prevents anyone from making unauthorized changes to the operating system. In summary, encryption protects your data from being read by unauthorized parties, while encrypted ROM protects the code of the operating system from being modified. Now let's discuss about decryption. Decryption is the process of turning the encrypted data or information back into its original readable form using a decryption key or password. In other words, it is the opposite of encryption. Decryption and decrypted ROM are related concepts but they have slightly different meanings. Decryption refers to the process of converting encrypted data back into its original unencrypted form. Decryption involves using the correct key to decode the data and make it readable again. For example, let's say you have an encrypted message that says this and you want to know what it really says. So to decrypt this message, you would need the decryption key or password, which would allow you to turn the encrypted message back into its original form, which is crack suite is a secret agent. <laughs> Similarly, when it comes to an Android phone, if you have encrypted your data and want to access it, you would need to enter the correct decryption key or password to decrypt the data and access its original readable form. Decrypted ROM, on the other hand, refers to the firmware or operating system of an Android device that has been decrypted or unlocked, allowing it to be modified or changed. Once you have entered the correct decryption key or password, you can make changes to the operating systems as you please. This means that anyone with physical access to your phone can easily access all of your data stored in it without needing to enter a password or any other form of security. While this might not sound like a big deal at first, there are several serious cons to using a decrypted room. 
Firstly, it puts all of your personal data at risk. This includes not just your photos, but also any saved passwords or other sensitive information that you might have stored on your device. Using a decrypted ROM can have some benefits for users who frequently change custom ROMs on their device. It is important to note that these benefits come with significant risks to your personal data security. One of the main advantages of using a decrypted ROM is that it allows you to switch between different custom ROMs on your device without having to perform a factory reset each time. This can be a time-saving and convenient feature for users who enjoy experimenting with different ROMs and customizations. In contrast, if you are using an encrypted ROM, you would typically need to format your device's internal storage each time you install a new custom ROM, which can be a time-consuming and inconvenient process. However, it is important to remember that using a decrypted ROM means that your personal data is no longer encrypted and protected by the device's security measures. This can leave your data vulnerable to the theft or hacking, which can have serious consequences for your privacy and security. So while using a decrypted ROM might seem convenient, it's important to weight the risks to your personal data security before deciding to use one. So in summary, decryption is the process of turning encrypted data back into its original form using a decryption key or password. While decrypted ROM is the operating system that has been decrypted and there is no any security in it which makes it vulnerable to. And talking about the difference between encrypted and decrypted ROMs on an Android phone is how they handle personal data. Encrypted ROMs use a security feature called encryption to protect your personal data from unauthorized access while decrypted ROMs don't have this protection. Encrypted ROMs are more secure because they protect your personal data like photos, passwords and credit card details from being stolen or hacked. Decrypted ROMs are less secure because anyone with physical access to your phone can steal your personal data easily. So if you want better security for your personal data, encrypted ROMs are the way to go. However, if you prioritize convenience over security, decrypted ROMs might be a better fit for you. So that's all for this video. We learned about encryption, decryption, encrypted ROMs, decrypted ROMs and the difference between them. We hope that you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this one. And thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.